Hello, welcome back to another video. So I was in the market for a new pair of headphones and I came across these. Now these are by Trust and I got them for $12.99 in Home Bargains in Liverpool, the Speak branch to be exact. Now apparently on the little ticket on the shelf, it said RRP is £65. I don't know, I don't know to be honest with you. So I thought I'll pick them up because for £12.99, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Now I do own a set of Switch ones, but the only downside to this is the lead is not really all that great. It's not that long and stuff like that. Um, and these are primarily for the, for the Switch. Uh, they're a bit battered and I thought, you know what, let's get, well, as someone said in work, actually, I was, I was, uh, I had my lappy in work and someone said, what's, what's with the TikTok headphones? Yeah, whatever. So I was out buying cat stuff as always, and I say I've seen these. So a quick look around the box. Uh, Trust uh, GXT series. Yamak, is that how you say it? Yamak. Suitable for PC, laptop, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series S and X, Switch and mobile. Um, 2021 uh, Trust International. Comfortable over ear premium headset design for all platforms with powerful sound. Sturdy design with metal parts and a high quality finish. Sounds quite good. Large, soft, and comfortable over ear pads. Powerful 53mm active speaker units. Flexible, detachable microphone and adjustable headband. That is actually one of the reasons why I bought it because. Sometimes when I use these dem headphones, I don't really want the microphone there all the time. It's nice to actually have the option to take it off and stuff like that. Um, simply plug the headset into the game controller and use it on your console. One meter braided cable for console, one meter extension cable for PC, and an additional one meter braided cable for inline microphone for mobile. So that microphone there, which detaches, you could probably use that on your mobile as well. Now, specification-wise, I am not 100% um, savvy with this, so I'm going to read it as it says, and you know, you'll just have to sort of make your own judgment on what it means. So, ear cup type over ear, frequency range 20 to 20,000 hertz. Driver size, as mentioned, 53 millimeters. Connector, one times 3.5 millimeter for laptop console mobile and two times 3.5 millimeter for pc cable length as mentioned is one meter that's all cables 1.2 inline mic cable for mobile as mentioned dimensions 150 times 185 times 90 millimeters and the weight excluding cables is 273 grams including cables is 314 grams so with these trustings i've, I've actually got a few trustings that i'm They've never let me down. I mean, uh, I've got I've got a a gaming mic I bought when I first started this channel. That video I've actually done quite well. One of the first videos I ever done. Uh, that was a GXT one. I've got I did have a GXT microphone actually. That was actually it was absolute dog shit to be fair. And I bought a cheap Trust Gaming uh, LED keyboard a while ago, which still going to this day. So yeah, just a quick look around the sides before we crack on. Gaming headset and it is a 414, the model number to be exact. Uh, nothing else to say about it other than let's get it open and see what we've got for $12.99. So. See, these things get a quite a bit of stick, but I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not one for, for you know buying expensive things. Mm. A load of cables which we'll get to in a minute and the microphone and the headset what else we've got, what we've got here as well we have do, 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 multi-platform gaming headset instructions do we really need instructions no we don't so that's like a bit of an idiot sort of guide to say you know if you are an absolute spastic you need to read this. Uh, we've got, do you know what? I don't know why, I don't know why. Not just trust, but I don't know why. Why did they send them? Just look. How freaking small is that? I mean, I can read it, don't get me wrong, but it's just a waste. Waste of paper, waste of paper. 
Right, let's get this open. Oh, that feels quite nice. Well, actually, yeah, they look, uh, they look quite nice, I'm gonna be fair. The metal was on the sides. The GXT logo on the side, metal plate on the side. We also have, oh, we've got metal supports there as well. Actually feels quite nice, I'm gonna be honest with you. Obviously adjustable as well, so. Really, really nice, I'm really, first impressions, quite impressed. But I'm not expert on these things. Pull it down, adjust, nice and comfortable on the ears. Yep. Pad for the top as well, which I think is, yeah, I did the one Scott one, it's not as thick though. It's quite thick at the top. And on the top of it, let's do it again. As you can see, Trust Gaming. Does it feel like a 65 pound headset? Um, at this moment in time, I'd probably say yes. It feels just like, I did have a Turtle Beach one, which actually broke, and it feels exactly, exactly like that. So I've got some writing in here, made in China, Trust Barcelona, and then the usual gubbins, UKCA, whatever that means. But, first impressions, nice and springy. Really, really nice. I mean, yeah, well impressed for tw for twelve ninety nine. I mean, the proof's in the pudding when I turn it on and put the you know put a sound through it and stuff like that. So we have uh, a three point five millimeter two way jack, which is just getting focused on the camera there, and we have like a, a button there for microphone and stuff like that. I think that's the extension. Uh, there's the microphone. The quality of that is yet to be determined. And we have another 3.5. It looks like a TRRS, is it? When you get three little notches on those things there. And you know what? You've got an extension as well. I've just freaking paid four pound. You just focus that camera. Come on, focus camera. I know what you want to. Hang on, this out the way there i'll just pay four pounds for one of them on ebay so that is yeah it's another extension lead but yeah at the minute 12.99 uh hopefully it's money well spent um as i say you know the proof will be in the pudding so we've got two connectors here we've got obviously one for your microphone and one to go into the uh, the game device the laptop or the console why is my camera focusing lately there we go. Product showcase is on, so we should bloody focus. Cat, stop messing. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to turn my laptop on and I'm going to play, well, I'm just going to play some music. Now, with reviews of this type, I mean, it, it's quite hard to say what it's like. You just have to put your trust, trust, uh, you have to put your trust in the reviewer as such to say if they're good or bad, because you need to physically add them on and listen to what's coming through it and stuff like that um and that's the only thing that's the only issue i've ever had with reviews of headphones and stuff you've got to trust the person who's reviewing it to say it's yay or nay because um there's no point me saying listen to that because you get a different output when you listen to watching the video back so yeah so anyway without further ado i'm going to get my lappy out and connect this all up and i'm going to see how it's Right, so what I've decided to do first of all is actually plug it into my Xbox controller and just have a little go of Battlefield, Battlefield 2042, on the new map, Redacted. They've occupied Sector Delta. Initial thoughts on it are, oh, the sound is actually quite crisp. Just see what's like in the, in the firefight. We can't let them keep all those sectors. <coughs> Prepare to counterattack. Battlefield 2042. Go, go. It was shite when it come out, but bloody hell, it is a game and a half now. 
some grenades in there. Sorry, grenade. Oh dear. Really impressed actually with the sound so far. Don't need that, take that out. I don't really use a microphone if I'm going to be honest with you. I mean the days of me playing with random people online and pretending to be friends. Yeah. Grenades up there, spray and pray. Oops, oops, one more second. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm out. This game uh, is just wilder. If anyone is familiar with Battlefield, uh, this map has got all the classicness, all the resemblance of. Uh, sorry, Operation Locker. It's just this a pure fuckfest. Absolute fuckfest. Oh, nice one. Someone, someone revived me there. Give me more health. Oh. Oh, Two out of three in there. Three out of three, and I've just been killed. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to the laptop. Uh, oh, look at that. Battlefield 20th anniversary. Yeah, I'm going to switch over to the lap and I'm going to play some music through it and see if that sounds like that. Right, okay, so what we're going to do, uh, I've gone on to AmigaRemix.com, which basically has some absolutely amazing, amazing Amiga tunes, which are just remixed. And um, the work that goes into some of these songs is absolutely phenomenal. And plus, hopefully I won't get a copyright claim. Um, let me see. Shadow of the Beast is always, always nice music. So we have the volume up on the lappy. Now you'll just have to trust me on this. The sound is absolutely fucking amazing. I'll just take the microphone off. And again, as I say, you'll just have to put your trust in the said reviewer. Um, what else have we got here? Shadow of the Beast. Let's take that off because that was the last thing I searched for with Shadow of the Beast. So we'll have Tulliken 2, the title. Oh, the music to that is just absolutely phenomenal. So what I'll do, I'll put the microphone in the middle. What a fucking tune. Chris Hulsbeck, absolute bloody legend. Now the lappy is at full volume as well. And there's no, no break up at all. There's no crackling. 
The base is absolutely spot on. And it's as clear as, well, as you'd, as you'd want it to be, to be honest with you. But what I'm going to do before I wrap the owl video up is do a comparison with the owl switch ones over there. But at the minute, that that is that is really, really, really impressive. I think we'll have one more before we. Uh, what can we have here? Just a quick, 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 quick one. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, let's just shoot Lally, maybe. I like that. The tunes of Lally. Let's shoot Lally in the land of the lounge lizards. We'll have the hotel one. You know that part where you walk around the hotel and the background music plays? Absolutely phenomenal. I actually use it for some background music in my videos as well. Full volume, full volume. Classic, classic piece of music there. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of that. Um, just while I'm... Just while it's rolling. No point in doing a cut. Let's connect these switch ones. Well, these switch ones were £20 from B&M. And... Um, they're okay, don't get me wrong. Where's that music gone? Let's see if we go. I mean, it's not a comparison, but there's no breakup on these either, by the way. It's just that a full volume of the bass, it doesn't seem to quite handle it as well as these. It's just boom, boom, and slight, slight bit of crackle, but them GXTs are an absolute bloody star so what I'm going to do take them out and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts right so there you have it the GXT gaming headset from Trust and a very very premium feeling headset again I'm no expert on these and I'm no sort of like you know I'm no great reviewer on this kind of stuff but you'll just have to Put your trust in me and, and when I say that these are bloody outstanding for the price. $12.99. If you're not a headphone snob, get yourself down to Home Bargains and get yourself a pair. The £65 registered retail price is, is probably correct. I haven't looked into it yet, but after this video, I'll do a little Google and see if I can find the original price of these. The only downside is these ones and most headsets that i own or have owned have got a little volume knob there so on the xbox before it was slightly low but i had to sort of have a mess around with settings and stuff like that there is no volume control on this headset at all or any of the extensions that they give you the only thing they do give you as i say or anything is just for your phone if you've got it connected to your phone that's the microphone there answer answer calls and stuff like that but other than that really really happy with the purchase really happy with it i mean in all honesty it's not as long as the the, the switch one in fact i think they're both probably up the same size but i have got an extension so yeah all is good in the hood there and i am yet to test that out i say i'm not really one for console gaming and talking to randomers on online and stuff like that and i don't really play with a few friends now because uh, the friends i did play with uh, i fell out with and i don't really talk to them anymore however i do play phasmophobia with adam my mate adam so uh, but i use a microphone for that which is here so i don't know if i'm going to be using a headset maybe i don't know but uh, if you're in the market for a headset and you're on a budget 
as I said, get yourself down to Home Bargains and get a set of these. They're absolutely cracking for £13. And all that's left me to say is cheers for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Chewy.